Hallelujah. Now, while I was checking my inbox in my email, as I check it, I, I received an email from Mark Condon, who is a well-known uh, gospel singer of our uh, group, praise God, in the uh, United States. Then, he has a rap drop of the song for the cover of the album for 2014. It was not yet released, but he already uh, have a video or a file in uh, YouTube. Praise God. The title of the song is Explains It All. Now, I'm going to read it because the message that I'm going to share, praise God, God has uh, encouraged my heart to share this, uh, the very core value of the song. Now, the lyrics goes like this. When I am weak, you make me strong. You give me power to overcome. I've learned who holds me when I'm needing gentle hands. I've learned who keeps me when it's more than I can stand. Then the chorus goes like this. Your grace keeps on saving me. Your grace is all I'll ever need. Your grace is for me when I fall. Your grace explains it all. I'm now forgiven. I am now set free. I am now have the power to face the enemy. I'm satisfied. I can make it all the way. My source of strength is your amazing grace. Amen. That's the whole content or the lyrics of the song. Now, let's go to study this chapter because... I believe with all of my heart that this verse that is still on the screen, the last verse that we have read a while ago, this is the most difficult and the most hard verse to apply in our Christian walk. Yes. Praise God. You may go back to verse 1, Sister Training, because I want you to tell a story. I want to retell the story about the life of Paul concerning visions and revelations about God. Did you have you ever dream a dream that when you walk in a, when you wake up in the morning, it remains in your memory? Nung sinagot mo yung boyfriend mo, di ba? Bakit ka tumatawa na yun? Si matagal na yun, di ba? Praise God. Shall we read it all together and let us just read verses and I will give emphasis. Ten verses, praise God, with additional uh, excerpts, praise God, from some scholarly works, some commentaries, so that it will give us light and understanding why I'm still here today. Praise God. Of all the troubles and trials and problems in life, why I'm still here. Amen. Praise God. Did you ask that question in your life? Yes. Praise God. You already signed contract 10 times, 12 times, 15 times, and you forgot to ask, why am I still here? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Now, in, in serving the Lord, that is a very nice question if you are if you could only answer it truthfully. Everybody shall amen. Amen. Now let's read it all together. I, I use in Ivy because it's a simple English. Yeah, it's easy to understand compared to the old English, which is the original or the authorized version. Now, Paul wrote a letter, praise God, to the Corinthian church, and here we go. He said, I must go on boasting. Gusto ko sanang uh, ipagmalaki ang mga bagay na nagawa ko sa aking sarili. And he said, although there is nothing to be gained, I will go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. Did you understand verse 1, what he is talking about? Praise God. Of all the apostles, Paul was at the top. It, when it comes to experience about visions and revelations, aside from John, the revelator, praise God, who wrote the book of Revelation. Praise God. He said, if I'm going to boast, about myself, my experience, there is nothing to be gained. Yeah. Yeah. Siyempre, karamihan sa atin, pag 
nagtestimony tayo, di ba? Wala pa pong nagtestimony sa atin, mga kapatid, na nasasabi, mga kapatid, ako'y nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon, siguntok ako sa sentral, mga kapatid, na wala na ako ng malay. Praise the Lord! <laughs> no one of us gave a testimony like that. Praise God! Hallelujah! But every time we give a victory report, every time we give a testimony, sometimes we boast ourselves, mga kapatid, in-increase na po ni Amo! Anong inikwisan ng trabaho? Praise God. Praise God. So, I said, if I'm going to boast something in me, it doesn't, it doesn't give me a gain. But he said, but anyway, I will go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. So what is the difference between visions and revelations? Now there's a big difference in there. Though it sounds synonymous, praise God, but the good thing is this vision and this revelation did not come from Satan, but comes from the Lord. The Lord. Did you get it? Amen. Okay, let's move on in verse 2. He said, I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was called up to the third heaven. Do you know who this man is? Paul himself. He said, I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was called up to the third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, he said, I do not know. Only God knows. Now, I will explain it to you why the Bible took about third heaven. What's the first heaven on the way? The first heaven is where the fowls of the air fly. Where your Cebu Pacific or Philippine <laughs> Airlines fly. About 35,000 feet, praise God, oxygen is less. So that is why our cabin crew will always say, oh, you know, this flight is uh, pressurized. It the pressurized uh, temperature each time will, uh, will be lost, then there will be an oxygen that will drop in front of you. Praise God. If the pressurized cabin will be changed. Hello? Amen. So, remember this. The first heaven is what we call the atmospheric heaven, where the gases, oxygen, praise God, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and so on and so forth, as we discussed in our third year, praise God, in our chemistry. So that is the atmospheric heaven, praise God. Now, the second heaven in the Bible is where, praise God, the orbs, O-R-B-S, orbs, planets, stars, meteors, refers to outer space. That's the second heaven. Wherein the power of darkness reign. Yan ang kingdom ni Satanas. Lahat ng mga demonyo, lahat ng mga multo, <laughs> lahat ng mga masasamang espirito ay nakatira po sila sa second layer of heaven. So malayo ang multo, nandun lang sila sa outer space. <laughs> So Paul said, I know a man. He was speaking of himself. 
But because he don't want boasting, he used the third person. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was called up. Called up means rapture to the third heaven. The only problem in his writing is this. Whether in the body or out of the body, he doesn't know. He did not know. He said, only God knows. Praise God. But usually, the Bible said, flesh and blood could not enter into heaven. I believe with my own opinion. It's not written in the Bible because even Paul did not know. But this is just based on my opinion and feeling that he is out of the body. Everybody shall amen. Amen. But we could not make a doctrine out of it. Don't believe what I'm saying about my opinion because the Bible said he doesn't even know. Yes. Only God knows. Amen. If his body was in the third heaven or his body was left on the earth while his human spirit went to the third heaven. So what also in the third heaven, Pastor? It's very interesting. Chapter, verse 3. Praise God. And I know that this man whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know. But God knows. He reiterated with redundancy in his writing two times to make it sure, praise God, that his boasting about this man, hallelujah, praise God, would be correct. Everybody shall amen. Amen. Verse 4. Was called up to paradise. So in other words, third heaven, or paradise is the same place. When Jesus was crucified on the cross, there was a tip on the right hand and there was a tip also on the left hand. Praise God. Before Jesus died, before he lost his breath, the man on the right side told Jesus, when you reach your paradise, when you go to your paradise, please, not release me, please remember me. <laughs> <laughs> the tip on the right side told Jesus, please remember me when you are in paradise. So that paradise is the same Greek word in the word paradise in verse 4, which is also the third heaven, where the mansion that we are waiting is there. Everybody shall amen. Amen. Now, what's in paradise, Pastor? Paul said, this man heard inexpressible things. In King James Version, things that he heard that unutterable. Praise God. Could, could, uh, cannot be spoken by your tongue. Things that man is not permitted to tell. That is why he did not tell here in his letter because it's not permitted to man to tell what are the things he heard in paradise. It's a language with sanctity. It's a language, praise God, that human lips could not speak the words. Amen. There is no, like vowels, there is no intonations or uh, pronunciation of the word. It's impossible for a man to speak the language there. Amen. Praise God. Hello. Amen. Praise God. So, just imagine with me, of all the apostles, Paul had is the only apostle who really experienced to go in paradise. Praise God. He went there Amen. in his letter. Praise God. In verse 5. I will boast about a man like that. But I will not boast about myself. Except about my witnesses. Wala pa pong isang tumayo dito at ako'y nagpapasalamat 